Hi, I'm Dana Harris, Editor-in-Chief of IndieWire, and we're here to talk about the Oscar nominations, Best Adapted Screenplay. Argo, Beasts of the Southern Wild, Life of Pi, Lincoln, Silver Linings Playbook. I think what's really interesting is that, uh, we were talking about this before, is that Lincoln is a weird adapted screenplay because if you read the book that it's based on, uh, Team of Rivals, uh, Doris Kearns Goodwin, the movie is basically adapting about three to four pages of the book and that's it. Uh, so the fact that it's adapted is kind of funny. Uh, it's very specific what it, what it adapts. But I would say that the winner in this category is probably Silver Linings Playbook, uh, David O. Russell, uh, the big Harvey Weinstein money machine behind him. This could be the category where that movie really makes a dent. Wow. No, I don't see anyone taking it away from Tony Kushner. You don't think so, huh? Uh-uh. And it, it was this long, laborious process where they started working on many, many more pages of the book. They were trying to do a lot of time. And, and finally, Spielberg helped him to focus on this one issue of the amendment. And I don't think anyone is going to take it away from Tony Kushner. I think Lincoln is actually very powerful and in the lead in this race and is going to win a lot of things. So It feels a little bit like Lincoln is last year's The King's Speech and Silver Linings Playbook is last year's The Artist and they both have a good amount of momentum here and you can actually bet on either of these horses. I think they're both really strong. But I'm actually with you. I think Silver Linings Playbook is going to get this one. I it agree with you with that you it's more. between these two. Um, yeah. they, and they both have momentum at I, this stage. Yeah. I'm with Anne. I think Lincoln is just so much more of an achievement than Silver Linings Playbook. There's an emotion that comes off after Silver Linings Playbook that stays with you. Lincoln, the meat is there, no doubt. It's high quality. It's top sirloin. <laughs> but it's also, it's dry. It doesn't, it didn't stay with me in the same way that Silver Linings Playbook did. I feel like when I think about the evolution of the story, I don't know. I would, I would give it to SLP. See, I'm going to argue against my own position, which is that I think <laughs> the Silver Linings, while it's the performances that really stick with you, Lincoln, it's like West Wing 1865. And so it's <laughs> that, it is that dialogue and it is that stuff. And that timely really, and resonant. Well, that's the thing. I, I, saw, I saw it before the election and I was like, if this movie came out before the election, we wouldn't, even, we wouldn't even be discussing who's going to win this election. This is, <laughs> this, is, this is Obama the movie, essentially. So. So that Argo uh, is also a terrific screenplay, but I just don't think it measures up to these to these others. And Beasts of the Southern Wild is a case of being nominated again. Yeah, I don't uh, think that has a chance. That's a huge achievement. Right. Yeah, um, but, but it's a win, case. though. No Life way. Life of Pi is another case of a great deal of degree of difficulty, I would argue. But um, as a as a writing piece, yeah, uh, that's not what it sticks with me for. It's ethereal. It's gorgeous. There'll be plenty of things it could get, but I don't think this is No, it. I don't either. Actually, no, the framing device for that film drove me nuts. Yeah. At the same time that I don't see how they could have told it any other way. I, that, and, like and, I said. And yeah. been true to the book. Right. I agree. It's like, I mean, it's like it was that's extremely difficult what they did yeah. here. And a lot of people are arguing that they didn't do it successfully, but 11 nominations for <laughs> Life of Pi. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it feels like we're on two teams here teams. for Adapted. Yeah. Team. Silver Linings Playbook. Yeah. Lincoln. Lincoln. But m m my heart is Lincoln, my logic is Silver Linings Playbook. Mm. So, yeah. My heart, my mind, my privates are all Silver Linings Playbook. <laughs> there you have it. How about my you, privates Jim? Have silver linings. Okay. Mm, my loins tell me Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> that is the first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> Gird your loins. There's a, there's, a, there's a Lincoln Logs joke in here, but I'm not oh, going to make it. So. Appreciate it. <laughs> What's your bet? Well, I, it's, 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 I, I think Silver Linings is going to win, but I want, I want Lincoln to win. That was... If I was choosing this, if they would turn to somebody rational like me, <laughs> I would choose Lincoln. I am so confident, uh, you know, strike me down. It's Lincoln. I'm going to suggest to you that Joaquin was the fifth slot. Wow. That he barely squeaked in. I'm terrified of Silver Linings Playbook. Hmm. I'm terrified of the, the Weinstein machine. Zero Dark Thirty didn't do to me what Hurt Locker did to me.